Though the world still revolves around lithium, as if it were the gold of the 21st century, Elon Musk has just dropped a game-changing bombshell. Tesla has completed testing of its much-talked-about aluminum-ion battery and confirmed production will begin in 2026. But the most shocking detail isn't even the start of manufacturing. It's what this battery represents. It's not just any improvement. It's a game-changer against Chinese dominance in global battery supply chains. And this became evident when more than 47,000 cyber attacks attempted to hack into the Nevada Gigafactory in the last 90 days. Coincidence? Hard to believe. The targets were the aluminum battery's technical files. And the attackers? Hackers linked to the Chinese government, according to U.S. intelligence sources. But why so much despair? Because Tesla has just pulled out of its sleeve an architecture called Quantum Tunnel, which allows aluminum ions to pass through the battery's crystal structure 23 times faster than lithium ions. It's as if lithium were traveling by car while aluminum travels by plane. This changes everything. Charging time, power delivery, thermal efficiency, and there's more. Each cell in this new battery has nanostructured graphene that repair themselves with use. It sounds like science fiction, but it's documented in internal testing. The more you charge it, the better it gets. After 100,000 cycles, the battery performs well 13% superior to the original. In other words, it ages like wine, with each charge more efficient. The most absurd part is that, unlike lithium, which requires aggressive mining, unstable international routes, and years of installation for each new extraction point, aluminum is already everywhere. The United States has a fully operational infrastructure, with plants in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Texas producing more than 0.11 million tons per year. Tesla, instead of building from scratch, will simply leverage all of this. Partnerships with companies like Alcoa allow battery production to leap to industrial levels without needing to open new mines or rely on unstable countries. This saves not only time, but also billions of dollars in logistical investment. The Chinese monopoly has always relied on scarcity. The logic was simple. Whoever has the rare material has the power. But Tesla ignored this rule and created a new one. If the game is about dependence on expensive and scarce materials, why not change the material? And that's what they did. By swapping lithium for aluminum, Elon Musk kicked the Asian industry's house of cards. It's no wonder that big names in the industry in China, according to sources, are losing sleep over this shift. Because this isn't just an innovation, it's a strategic move. It's a way of saying, from now on, the game is ours. Even with the imminent threat, the global market is still digesting the impact. But the truth is, that China's time as the absolute center of battery production is numbered. Tesla no longer depends on freighters crossing oceans or mines in the middle of the Congo. Everything can be done in the U.S.'s backyard, at a lower cost, greater efficiency, and, most importantly, independently. The aluminum-ion battery is not just an innovation, it's a declaration of war against Chinese energy hegemony. And when we talk about war, we're not just talking about commercial warfare. We're talking about industrial espionage, clandestine operations, digital sabotage, and a race for technological dominance that involves entire governments. Tesla, despite being a private company, has become a geopolitical player. With a single component, this battery, it threatens billion-dollar networks, state interests, and decades of Chinese infrastructure investment. That's the true scale of what's at stake here. This isn't just another innovation. It's a disruption. From now on, the race is no longer just about cleaner cars or more efficient technologies. We've entered a new era where batteries are tools of power. And Elon Musk, with his new aluminum secret weapon, has just fired the first shot. If the new battery's first impact was to undermine China's dominance over the supply of strategic materials, the second blow came straight to the pocket, the cost per kilowatt hour. 
For years, companies like KATL and BYD dominated the global market not only through technology, but also because they could produce lithium-ion batteries at absurdly low prices, about 8700 per kilowatt, driven by government subsidies, cheap labor, and a hyper-tuned supply chain. It was nearly impossible to compete. Until now, Tesla not only entered the game, but lowered this cost to use $61 per Kikua with its aluminum battery. This represents a reduction of 30% without depending on subsidies, without slave labor, and without shipping containers from the other side of the world. But how is this possible? The answer lies in the very nature of aluminum. Extracting and processing aluminum consumes scent body fee, less energy than lithium. It's more abundant, simpler to refine, and, most importantly, the infrastructure is already in place. Tesla didn't need to reinvent the wheel. Instead, it optimized a system that's been in operation for decades in the U.S. While lithium requires new mines, complex environmental permits, and unstable transportation routes, aluminum comes ready-made from factories in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Texas. It's just a matter of connecting the dots. The savings come from both the raw material and the time saved. And time, in this case, is worth more than gold. While a new lithium processing structure takes three years to be ready, Tesla can adapt the current production lines in only eight months. This means that, even in 2026, the company will be able to reach a production capacity of 2.1 terawatt hora per anno. This gives energy to feed more than 6 million vehicles, all manufactured on American soil a veritable industrial wall erected against external dependence. And this, for China, is a logistical and economic nightmare. The direct impact of this is felt in global trade. In 2024, battery exports generated 43.2 billion to China, the country's third largest industrial sector. Now, this market is at risk of being invaded by a cheaper, more efficient product. And to make matters worse, made in the USA. Chinese automakers will have to decide between reduced prices to the point of zeroing profits or see your market share gobbled up and neither scenario is viable in the long run. Tesla isn't just competing, it's reshaping the battlefield. This cost advantage is further strengthened by the exclusive contracts Tesla has signed with aluminum giants. Companies like Alcoa, Norsk Hydro, and Century Aluminum have already secured supplies. With fixed price until 2032 meanwhile, Chinese manufacturers are at the mercy of market volatility, trade wars, and geopolitical instability. With cost predictability, Tesla can plan, scale, and innovate safely, something no Asian competitor can currently promise. And here comes an even more sensitive point, profit margin. If Tesla can produce at $61.80, sell at $85, and still deliver a lighter, faster, and more durable battery, it opens up a margin that not only guarantees profit, but allows you to invest even more in innovation. Meanwhile, competitors who simply try to match prices will bleed financially. China bet on scale. Elon Musk bet on efficiency. And when cost and performance curves intersect, scale loses its advantage. Of course, there are still doubts in the market about how quickly this transition can happen. But with Tesla already retrofitting its lineup and partners securing aluminum for nearly a decade, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. The most conservative forecast indicates that by the end of 2026, the first million vehicles will be running on aluminum ion batteries. And this volume, combined with the competitive price, could create an avalanche that few are prepared to contain. It's not just the price that's falling, it's the entire structure that sustained Chinese dominance in this sector. When economics, technology, and logistics work together, the result is inevitable, a revolution. And it already has a date, a factory, and raw materials. If the price already put competitors on the spot, 
cold weather performance has pushed the Chinese industry out of entire markets. One of the biggest Achilles heels for lithium ion batteries has always been winter. In temperatures below 10 degrees C, they lose up to 40% capacity, making electric cars virtually unviable in cold regions. For years, Chinese automakers have spent billions on thermal management systems, adding weight and complexity without truly solving the problem. Tesla, on the other hand, simply eliminated the problem at its root with aluminum. In tests conducted in Minnesota, the new aluminum ion battery was exposed to 40 degrees for 72 hours straight. The result was almost unbelievable, less than 2% performance loss. While Chinese batteries were becoming dead weight in the cold, Tesla maintained virtually all of its range, as if it were on a sunny spring day. This isn't just a technical advance, it's an entry ticket to 47% of the global vehicle market, which lives in cold regions such as the northern USA, Canada, Scandinavia, Russia, and even northern China itself. And this advantage became even clearer in practice. During silent tests in Norway, one of the most demanding countries in the world for EVs, Tesla owners equipped with aluminum batteries reported nigh 4% satisfaction with autonomy during the winter. For comparison, Chinese batteries barely reached 31% of approval. The difference isn't just technical, it's emotional. It's the confidence of leaving the house on a freezing day without fear of being left stranded. It's the kind of detail that decides which car people will buy. Another critical point is charging time at low temperatures. Lithium batteries require preheating systems, which consumes energy and can take more than 90 minutes for a full charge in sub-zero temperatures. Tesla's aluminum battery continues charging in four minutes, even at 35 degrees Celsius, without the need for any auxiliary systems. In other words, while the Chinese car is still waking up, the Tesla is already charged and on the road. This completely redefines the concept of mobility in icy regions. This all-weather capability is transforming markets that were once considered peripheral to EVs. Cities in northern Canada, rural areas in the US, and remote regions of Europe are now becoming strategic territories, previously inaccessible due to lithium's thermal limitations. Tesla, with its new technology, isn't just selling cars, its opening borders and competitors, especially Asian ones, are running out of defense options. The technology they once mastered is no longer sufficient. Even automakers that have tried to adapt stopgap solutions like liquid heated batteries or active thermal insulation haven't come close to Tesla's results. That's because the secret lies within Tesla itself, battery chemistry, and not on external tricks. Aluminum simply does not suffer the same effects of cold as lithium, which represents a structural and irretrievable advantage for those who still rely on old batteries. There's no point in patching a system that was already outdated. This radical change also affects automakers' logistics. Fewer thermal components mean fewer parts, less maintenance, and more interior space in vehicles. Instead of liquid tanks, pumps, and sensors, Tesla operates with a cleaner, lighter, and more efficient system. This reduces weight, increases range, and lowers production costs. A virtuous cycle that further strengthens the new generation of electric cars. The truth is, lithium has now become a problem, and those still betting on it are falling behind. Tesla didn't just solve the cold, it used it as a weapon. It turned a historical limitation into a competitive advantage that closes off entire markets to its rivals. While some still struggle to survive in the heat of competition, Tesla reigns supreme on the ice. While the advantage in the cold already seemed to humiliate rivals, Tesla went further. It placed its new batteries in brutal real-world testing, and the results left even the most skeptical engineers speechless. They were 2047 vehicle, equipped with aluminum ion batteries running for 47 U.S. states, accumulating together more than 18.3 million miles in different weather conditions 
altitudes, and road types. And all this before the official launch. This wasn't a lab simulation, nor a showroom test. It involved street, mud, desert, snow, traffic jams, and long trips. It was real life, and the battery passed with flying colors. What caught the most attention in the results was the durability. After simulating 800,000 kilometers of use, aluminum batteries have maintained impressive 94.7% of original capacity. This means that even after more than a decade of heavy use, the car will still have virtually the same range as when it left the factory. In comparison, Chinese lithium batteries, under the same conditions, have plummeted to 73.322%. This changes everything when it comes to calculating useful life and resale value. A car with a lithium battery today loses up to 40% of its value in five years. With aluminum, this loss practically disappears. And when it comes to security, the difference becomes even more glaring. In 10,000 cycles of destructive testing, including punctures, overcharging, and extreme heat, Tesla's aluminum battery did not present any case of thermal runaway, the famous fire risk that haunts the industry so much. Chinese batteries have already failed in 3.7% two cases, which in practice means hundreds of cars potentially burned for each production batch. This impacts not only consumer confidence, but also insurance costs, and the market is already reacting. Some American insurance companies have started offering discounts of up to 23% in policies for vehicles equipped with Tesla's new batteries. This is because, in addition to being safer, they are also more predictable, more resistant to wear and tear, and much less prone to critical failures. In the corporate world, where everything revolves around risk, predictability, and savings, this battery has become gold bullion. The end consumer may not even realize the technical reason behind the lower insurance price, but they will certainly choose the car that hurts their wallet less at the end of the month. External validation also raised the battery's status to another level. The United States Department of Defense selected Tesla's aluminum ion technology to equip its new generation of military vehicles. This isn't just a seal of approval. It's practically a national security stamp. The demands of the military sector go far beyond those required for civilian use. Impact resistance, extreme temperatures, absolute reliability, and among dozens of Chinese, Korean, and European competitors, Tesla prevailed. This places the company in a strategic position even within American foreign policy. And this point is more important than it seems. Because when a technology starts to be used by the military, it's no longer just an innovation. It becomes a matter of sovereignty. This opens the door to subsidies, government contracts, priority in supply chains, and most importantly, shielding against foreign competition. Tesla isn't just dominating the electric car market. It's positioning itself as key piece of U.S. energy and military infrastructure. Furthermore, the test results were published in a prestigious scientific journal, Journal of Power Sources. This ensures that the data has not been doctored or manipulated for marketing purposes. These are independent assessments with rigorous methodology and peer review. In other words, the numbers are indisputable. The scientific community, which previously viewed Musk's promises with suspicion, now needs to acknowledge the aluminum ion battery, it's real, it's functional, and it's superior in almost every aspect. Even the harshest critics have started to change their tune. Before, it was, let's wait and see.